Hi, welcome to the SAI Intellisys Conference 2019 here in London. With me, Niels Bertsinger from the Frankfurt Institute for Advanced Studies. Yes. Um, first of all, could you tell me a bit about the research that you are involved in right now? Yeah, I'm mainly working on uh, systemic risk. So mm -hmm. basically looking at uh, data and also models for financial markets, understanding what went wrong in the latest crisis, basically. So okay, so, so exactly what is it that will be better with your research? How will it change <laughs> our words or our work? Well, I hope we can make the system a little bit safer by first understanding what actually are the critical aspects that have led to this global instability, basically, in the financial market. Yeah. And so... So if, if we look into the future, that will mean that, that this will not happen anymore? Well, eventually yes, but currently I'm a little skeptical actually about that because many of the processes that were actually at play before the crisis, we mm -hmm. still see that. So we, sti we see rising credit levels, we see a lot of money in the world flowing around at a very fast pace. So currently mm -hmm. I wouldn't bet on it that it doesn't happen again, but uh, okay. hopefully eventually we can calm it a little bit, the system there. Yeah. If you look at, at the research you're doing, what is your biggest challenge? Well, personally, my biggest challenge is probably finding the right level of abstraction for looking at the models and mm -hmm. also having the mathematical abilities to do so. So I'm learning a lot of math along the way and I'm learning a lot of yeah. new things about how financial markets actually work and what is what are the main drivers of uh, yeah. complexity there. And for those of you who do not do the same research, what is that exact level of abstractness and why is it so important? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm not sure if we already have the right level of abstraction. So, I mean, mm -hmm. we're looking at the especially um, uh, financial systems from very different levels, from macroeconomics, from microeconomics. And if you make a more detailed analysis, it's might be a good thing to do but you're you're getting lost in the details pretty quickly uh, on the other hand or the, at a more abstract level when you look at the global picture you might miss the important parts and so that's always a challenge to to find the right balance there yeah. will this be the next step in your research or is there anything else yes i think so so i'm uh, currently thinking a lot of about um, models that are really trying to understand especially the role of credit because credit okay. played a big role in uh, the unfolding of the crisis and so I'm really hoping to, to advance this mm. at this stage. Yeah. If you look into the bit more distant future, uh, if we then look back, what will your research have brought to the world? <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I hope a little bit of better understanding of um, complex systems in general because uh, yeah, my research was not always on financial systems. I started out in computational neuroscience mm. and a lot in complex systems theory. So hopefully a better understanding of complex systems and how they interplay and how actually important structures can emerge from the yeah. uh, microscopic details. That's, yeah. that's and, and therefore maybe more stability? In this case, yes, or in general, a better um, way of handling complexity in uh, either natural systems, but also in human design systems. They are getting more and more complex and one tries to avoid this uh, and yeah, tries to avoid instabilities and has to get a hand on designing them in such a way that they do the desired things without uh, falling apart and without getting basically taken down by this complexity of the system. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And if you want to see more interviews like these, um, go to the SAI Intelligence website and check them out. Or come to the conference one time. Thank you.